But Shit. now I think it's time for our album, album review. review. Holy shit. So, we got a motherfucking banger yes. for this week's album review. For everybody who's tuned in right now on YouTube, you rocking with us right now. On the, Still on the Facebook. Why the fuck we still Facebook live right now? I don't even know. We can put the whole show out. Whatever we popping, and Erlene says, nope, but we fam. And doing that shit isn't cool unless we as a group agree. You goddamn right. Because right. as a group, we got motherfucking Smoke Dizza kicking it with Griselda. One in particular, Benny the Butcher. They got together for a hard-ass EP, Statue of Limitations. Let's let this shit rock out for ya. For the ones to relate to it. The number was too good to be true. I had to pace through it. We make music to move way to it. Let the rumors tell. Go I'm a new one. Well. I'm getting chips, so I can't Man, that's a hard ass album cover, though. <laughs> like, literally. That's probably one of my favorites of the year so far. That's top five. Yeah, for sure. yeah, yeah. I like the, and actually like the shadowing. Yeah, like all of that. Yeah. Like, that's super dope. Yeah. Yeah, that was a great job. Great job. So what y'all think about the intro? Intro uh-huh. song. I think it, it, it's a... It, it, I think it walks into this this EP perfectly. And I, I want to make sure not to call this shit an album. And right. if you did it's hear me, Konnichiwa, Clinton, we see you, my G, all the way from Japan. Um, but I think it's a, 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 a excellent way to walk into this six track. Or five, six, track. six track. Six track EP. Mm-hmm. Shout 17 out to minutes. Smoke 17, 18 minutes? Uh, 20, 20 minutes and 33 seconds. Oh, shit. Perfect. Yeah. It's um, yeah. right as it gets over. I'm so excited because it starts back. I've actually decided to take that and mix in plugs I met. So I get more Benny, more, more, more Oh, my time. God. I like that. Um, and then I'm working on my Griselda. It's going to be a killer. Uh, low key. Um, actually, I, I actually really enjoy the project. It's funny because we were trying trying to figure out albums i said it jokingly and he was like that's all i've been listening to it. i'm like yo i've been on it since you know griselda and st louis don't really mix low-key because i was in a bag and st louis in a whole other bag and i'm not in that bag just yet because i don't litter no more so it's a different bag to be in but nonetheless um shout out to smino man <laughs> but you doing this thing in st louis but it's cra- but look man I, all produced by pete rock and Pete Rock, Pete low, Rock let's talk about Pete Rock for a hot second. Boom yep. uh, back. off heavy off that goddamn Sky Z. Speaking, yeah. of, speaking of which, I don't need a bit, but what'd you think? Five, how many well, I'm been? still mad that y'all motherfuckers reviewed the shit without me. I'm I feel so, I know. Way. I said that. And you saw, I saw you said, and I was like, <laughs> I bet Layla was just like, fuck it, he ain't here, so we can review the album. It don't Pretty matter. Much. I remember that time when y'all were, re- nah, let me go. So, we did. So what? So we what? never did you that way. Yeah, so y'all did. Um, Bippa. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna get my bars off on that one. Okay, so cool. Holler at us over at the at the Boom Bap Patreon page Sorry where I'm gonna that. get my bars off on this sky zoo and let you know exactly how I feel about it. Um but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm uh I'm I'm here for this. Uh I, I like smoke. I always have. Ever yeah. since he got with Pete Rock on that album about three years ago, twenty sixteen I believe, mm-hmm. I've been down with smoke. Kush God, <clears throat> butcher, I mean it's just it's different. I mean, honestly, and I love like I said, six tracks. At 20 minutes, it's such a it's such an easily digestible album. Um, none of the tracks are extremely long. I think the longest track is a minute, you know, 546. That's the one with Bullets with Conway, which is my probably my standout track. Uh, Conway bodies this shit. Conway has been on a tear lately too, low key. I mean, I felt like he felt Benny was cre- creeping up on him, and he went on. He been in his bag, bag is <laughs> nuts. Um, Yep. I love the project, man. I, and it, anything Griselda drop right now just got the streets on fire. They give me that G Unit feel. Mm. That er, like when they when, when it was when they was They're doing the mixtapes yeah, and yeah. they was rapping over the beats. Oh, yo, yeah. I miss the mixtape day when they rap over the actual hip hop. Yo, the, the the commercial shit. Mm-hmm. Bro, Fifty got some classic verses to that. The minutes be going. Even like get that shit on repeat. Man, we ain't have repeat like that. Fifty, the mixtapes in this era with the iPod, yeah. I can mm-hmm. cut and paste them shit together. Come on. Man, listen, I need that in my life. Y'all hating. God damn it. <laughs> but it's actually funny you said that because Bullets was actually my favorite on uh, this EP. I really like how, I don't know how long towards the end, it was just straight beat. Mm-hmm. It was, it, they, they weren't rapping. No one was talking over it. It was just straight music. And I feel like that's something that we're missing as a whole, not only in R&B, but in hip hop, that sometimes you just want the beat. The beat is so good and well put together that you just want to ride out to it. And that may even inspire some people to always probably start freestyling at the end yeah. to you know be their own feature on this track. But definitely Bullets is a standout track for me as well. 
What's one of your standout tracks? Yeah, I actually like By Any Means and Bullets. Um, yeah, and Drug Rap. Yeah, yeah. The whole album. Yeah, if I had to, no, 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 no. Those are, are those three more. I, I want it more from Smoke and Butcher. Like I, I feel like it's too cloudy. It's too much going on with styles on there, and it's not style specifically, but it's something about the production with him. I just don't like it. Um, Seven thirty is cool. Toast is cool, but uh, definitely drug rap, uh, bullets, and by any means. Mm. I would have loved actually a verse from Styles P versus uh, the hook, the chorus he did. I, I prefer a verse mm. um, for me personally. Um, I like 730. 730 actually sounded more like a track that West Side would flow off of, um, like a, one of his tracks from his yeah. album. I like that too. I mean, all in all, I like the project. I mean, Toast is probably my least favorite song. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Bullets, man, Conway comes through. I think Benny, had, um, and I like Smoke, but I think Benny had Smoke kind of stepped his bars up a little bit. Um, as Benny is throwing his hat into the ring for a potential MVP of uh, 2019. I already have my MVP right now with the amount of, to me, with the amount of quality he's dropped, mm-hmm. I, I have my MVP, and I want to, I want to definitely want to add that to the show. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think Benny is is tossing his hat now. I mean, he's got some solid bodies of work, bodies and some features. I believe they actually had a song. Him and Smoke had a song earlier this year. I have to look it up. Until Benny can do better than Tana Talk Three. I didn't say Benny was my MVP. Oh, okay. I said I said I have my MVP, but Benny is throwing his hat. Into I'm just his I'm head. just throwing shade on the. Oh whole yeah, no, no. Tap Talk Three is still I, in rotation because it's it, it, and I'm like I want better. I want I don't want better. I want I think the difference with that album and and the plugs I met was you got a longer album. Like the plugs I met right as you as you are at your apex, it starts over. And I and I love the raps and I love the changing of the flows. Uh, I love his features on that album. Um, I see that you think differently. Broken bottles. Oh, broken <laughs> bottles is classic, John. And that's was it? Alchemist got that one. I just, I, I just, I, want I always was a Rubber Bands and Weights fan. Over rubber broken Bands and Weights too. I love it's Broken too. Bottles, but Rubber Band, well, that was the one who caught me was Rubber it's Bands too. and Weights. What's the other shit? Uh, Jay Z shit. Um, oh, a thirty eight hole. Thirty. Uh, yeah. Is it thirty eight? No, 90, uh, 96 hole. Ninety six hole, and then yeah. there's uh, thirty eight something. Thirty eight. Thirty eight. Thirty eight. Uh, Oh, hmm. Pesci, 38 Pesci, Pesci something 38. Something like that. Something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, I, shit, I mean, it's, it's a short, it's a shorty. Yeah. Overall, <laughs> let's, let's, <laughs> it's a shorty. Hey, shorty. <laughs> let's talk shorty about it. So, shorty. How, how do, um, I'll go first. Shut y'all up, don't Jay mind. Because I'm, I'm not quick. You know, Bippa, bars, uh, impact, production, playback value, as well as arrangement. I think the arrangement's fine. I'll go in reverse order. Um. Playback value because it's so short and it's it's good. You can just let that shit roll. Um, production, I mean, shit, P Rock. Need I say more? You can respect it. Now, I'm not saying I necessarily like everything on it, but I have a high level of respect for everything that he has touched and graced. Um, the impact of this, I think it is. I think this walks into y'all mentioned earlier this Halloween vibe and feel. Mm-hmm. I think it walks into that as well as fall as a whole. Mm-hmm. So I think it's something that kind of ushers in this colder, harsher environment. So I'm here for it. Um, and bars, no <laughs> questions asked. Yeah. And as you mentioned, now that I think about that, Smoke's bars, I do feel they're a bit more elevated than his last mm-hmm. because of this. And he's got an album in between. I can't think, uh, what is it, No, Not For Sale? Yeah. That's in between this. Um, and there were some good, good features and whatnot on there. But, um, yeah, Benny does something to people. Say to your voice of the streets. He's at the first butchers coming, the nigga. Coming. What about you, Lady? I'm telling you, you straight think? Halloween. <laughs> um, oh, well, I didn't give a number. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, out of six tracks, I'm gonna go um, three and a possible. Ooh. Okay, Spade. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so for me, I'm not gonna give it an actual rating, which will be the first time ever in Layla E history, because I feel like I need to give it more time and respect. Because I definitely tried listening to this at work today, which was not good. Just, just not. No, good. you might have quit. Shit, I, I, exactly. Well, so out. I heard it once all the way through, and then when I was listening to it my second round, I couldn't with all the amount of work I had to do. So I'm not gonna give it a rating because I feel like it deserves more respect than that. However, with my first run, definitely it is fall. It's wintertime coming up. Put your goddamn Tims on. That's all I got to say. Get your Glock ready if you're ready. If you think it's something going to pop off, it's going to pop off. That's basically what, you know, anybody that's part or affiliated with the Griselda camp will give you. It's all that same feel. 
Um, so for me, overall, you cannot cannot deny the bars. The arrangements, I really don't feel like there was enough tracks for me to even make a comment on the arrangements. I feel like everything kind of just played along very well. Everything was a great transition. Um, but I think the production, let's just note that, that is fire is what hip hop is built on. You know, it's 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 heavy, heavy, heavy. Um, so with that being said, I will definitely not mind giving you a rating next week when I can be fair. Because I don't feel like today I will be fair. What about you, Tut? So, um, dope project. Um, I love it. Six tracks. It's right in my wheelhouse. You know, we in the world of ADHD. So, uh, 20 minutes, 33 seconds is great. Um, again, I can mix it with some of Benny's other projects or Griselda's other projects and make a longer album if I want. The bars that are Conway's versus Fire. Uh, I like what Westside's doing. I like the majority of the tracks. There are a couple that I could have dealt without. Um, definitely no Rice Bowls coming out today. Um, but I'm going to start grading motherfuckers like zero to Griselda. Like, that's going to be my new Oh, my God. <laughs> my new grade. Nah, nah, um, <laughs> Nah, but yeah, yeah. I listen like to that. this. If you go, if them dumb motherfuckers want to go to them Brooklyn steps where the Joker was filmed, rob them niggas with this on, so they understand where they need to oh be. Oh my at. god, I'm, I'm just playing. <laughs> we at that boom bap do not condone that not, type of thing. Yeah, I was just <laughs> at just all. Say that. <laughs> Somebody, these we are the a, views. We gotta get a goddamn disclaimer <laughs> button. <laughs> like shit. Nah, boom bap made me so do so it. So exactly right. No, I, real shit. Um, I think it's a dope project. I'd have to give it if I'm grading off mics. Um, four mics, just because there's really not enough tracks. But it's enough for me to listen to. It's actually great when I'm trying to push toward the end of the gym. Last 20 minutes and you don't want to do it. Put this on and you lose track of time because it kind of all flows together. And the production, Pete Rock, salute to you, man. You still body and shit, Loki. Yep. So, wait, that's a good question. Four albums. What would give you a good workout? What what track or album? So, you know what's from funny? Any, anybody. Um, I, don't say classical music like somebody else did. No, I don't fuck That we interviewed. You. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, that was, that, yeah. Very, anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Um. I fucks with, so normally I'm just in, I mean, for those that are watching, y'all know this shit. I, I listen to Sway. I've learned a lot from Sway in the morning. Um, and I think it's always, you know, wise to pay homage to those who have set the stage and opened up opportunities. Um, so I've, I've, I'm normally listening to that in the morning during the gym from 7 to about 8.30, 9.30. What do you listen to? Or excuse me, 8 to about 9.30. Yeah, huh? What do you listen to? in the morning. Oh, okay. okay. So, and so I'm big on DJ Wonder's mix. Now, if it's a rerun or they're doing a replay or some shit or the mix is over and I want to rock out to something, I'm usually either listening to Sky Zoo. I'm getting prepared for Boom Bap, so I'm listening to whatever album we're reviewing because we're more, we're reviewing hip hop. We're not reviewing some R&B shit or whatever. But I'm in my hip hop bag heavy, and it's usually not commercial shit, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna listen to Kirk from The Baby. I'm not listening to Waptober Two. I'm not listening to uh, Meg. I'm not listening to anything that's commercial. I need something with dexterity while I'm in the gym because that takes my mind off these long ass hard ass reps and sets oh okay well I don't work out clearly <laughs> <laughs> but if I were to work out <laughs> what has inspired me in the past is um y'all already know <laughs> should I, do I even need to say it or should y'all just no it? we don't know I oh. have no idea Ludacris, um, Ludacris, Beyonce, and um, I know because he got a lot of fast tracks and Kanye West, like his whole first four or five albums. Like I go way back, early two thousands music gets me. High.